in this video we will solve the fuzzy composition by using max average method so here is the problem given given for us for the fuzzy composition one is relation r fuzzy relation r and the second one is fuzzy relation s yes. now we like to find the fuzzy composition by using max average method so max average method that means first we need to do average and then we need to do max okay so let me solve one by one so let me solve with combination with 1 1 that means x1 and z1 so i need to see this part this is x1 and this is z1 which is equal to maximum of maximum of maximum of uh, first i need to do average so average of 0.1 and 0.9 is 0.5 and 0.2 and 0.2 is 0.2 so 0 and 0.8 so the average is 0.4 1 and 0.4 so the total is 1.4 so the average is 0.7 now maximum out of these things is 0.7 let me write 0.7 here Okay, next one is ROS into 1, 2. So, this is maximum of. So, here I need to consider X1 and Z2. So, this part. Yeah, this one. So, again, I need to do average. Average of 0.1 and 0 is 0 0.05. 0 0.2 and 1 is 0.6. 0 and 0 is 0, 1 and 0.2 is 0 0.6 degree. So, the maximum out of 0 0.05, 0 0.6, 0 and 0 0.6 is 0 0.6. So, this value will be 0 0.6. Now we are moving to ROS13 uh, that means X1 and Z3 like this. So the average of 0.1 and 0.3 is maximum of average of 0.1 and 0.3 is 0.2 average of 0.2 and 0.8 is 0.5 average of 0 and 0.7 is 0 0.35 Next average of 1 and 0.3 is 0.65. So maximum of 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.35 and 0.65 is 0 0.65. So the value will be 0 0.65 here. Yeah. Next maximum of ROS 1 4 so x1 and z4 so average of 0 0.1 and 0 0.4 is 0 0.25 average of 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 average of 0 and 1 is 0 0.5 average of 1 and 0 is 0 0.5 yeah so the maximum of 0 0.25 0 0.1 0 0.5 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 that will be here And the next one is ROS of 2 1 so which is equal to x2 so maximum of so here x2 is 0.3 and we need to find with z1 so average of 0.3 and 0.9 is 0.6 0.5 and 0.2 is 0.35 0 and 0.8 is 0.4 and 0.2 and 0.4 is 0.3 and the maximum of 0 0.6, 0 0.35, 0 0.4, 0 0.3 is 0 0.6
the value will be here. Next, ROS of 2, 2, so which is combination of X2 and Z2. Okay, so it will be maximum of maximum of 0.3 and 0 is 0 0.15. 0 0.5 and 1 is 0 0.75. 0 and 0 is 0. 0.2 and 0.2 is 0 0.2. So the maximum of 0 0.15, 0 0.75, 0 and 0 0.2 is 0 0.75. That will be here. So now it is RO, ROS 2, 3, so it is equal to maximum of, now we need to find average between X2 and Z3, so it will be 0.3, average is 0.3 and 0.5 and 0.8 is, um, it is 0.13. So, 0 0.13 means 0 0.65. So, it's 1.3. So, divided by 2 will be 0 0.65. Next, 0 and 0 0.7 is 0 0.35. 0 0.2 and 0 0.5, 0 0.3 is 0 0.5. Divided by 2 will be 0 0.25. Which is equal to, it is 0.65 is the answer. That's all. So the next one will be ROS of 2, 4 is equal to maximum of. So average of 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 is 0 0.7. So it is 0 0.35. 0 0.5 and 0 is 0 0.25. 0 0.5 and 1 is 0 0.5. 0 0.2 and 0 is 0 0.1. So the maximum value is 0 0.5. So now now we need to find with x3 now x3 and z1. So maximum of maximum of 0 0.8 Average of 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 is 1.7. So 1.7 by 2 is 0 0.85. Comma. Average of 0 and 0 0.2 is 0 0.1. Average of 1 and 0 0.8 is 0 0.8. 1 and 0 0.8 is 1.8 and it's 0 0.9. And 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 is 0.3. So we can say that the maximum value is 0.9 here and ROS of 3, 2 will be maximum of 3, 2, yeah, 0 and point, average of 4, 0 0.8 and 0 is 0 0.4 and 0 and 1 is 0.5, 1 and 0 is 0.5. And 0.4 and 0.2 is 0.3 is equal to 0.4. So next one is ROS of 3.3 .3 and it will be maximum of. So the average of 0.8 and 0.3 is 1.2. No, 1.1. Yes, it's 1.1, so it should be 0.55. And the average of 0 and 0.8 is 0.4. Average of 1 and 0.7 is 1.7. So that should be 1.7 by 2 means 0.85. Average of 0.4 and 0.3 is 0.35. So the maximum value is 0.85. So this value is 0.85. Okay, this value is 0.85. And previous one value will be 
0.5 and the previous value is 0.9 and now the last value so this is R ROS of 3 4 is equal to maximum of average of 0 0.18 0 0.4 is 0 0.6 0 and 0 is 0 1 and 1 is 1 0.4 and 0 is 0 0.2 so the maximum value is 0 0.6 here sorry 1 here no, it's not 0 0.6 it's 1 yeah. so its value is 1 definitely we need to write one here yeah so this is the end of the topic in this way we need to find the composition of two relations and each relation is in between two fuzzy sets so if you like this video please like it if you want to share this video with your friends and family please share it please subscribe to my youtube channel and kindly press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever i upload any video thank you thank you so much